Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Tyler Sports Cards. Coming to you today on the channel for the fourth time in a row is 2021 Topps Baseball Series 1. I know it's really all I've kind of been bringing to the channel for the last uh, two weeks now, but it's really all I can find. As much as I always like to bring 2021 hoops or maybe a little Donruss Optic to the channel, haven't been able to find any of that at retail and I don't want to really overpay the scalpers for it. So 2021 Series 1, which seems to be pretty prevalent out there on the retail shelves and a lot of people are finding it, is all I'm able to find. These all came from online, just like the blasters I opened last week. So I got six blasters off the initial target drop on release day, opening in stacks of twos, opened two last week, did pretty well with that, got an Anderson Tejeda Orange Ice, opening two today, and I'm opening the other two uh, probably later in the week. I've also opened two hangers so far that I found out in the wild. And then um, one hobby box, which I got at Tops.com. I know I opened that over the last weekend and it went pretty well for me. It got a David Garcia autograph, if you haven't seen that video yet. Got a Key Brian Hayes Silver Mojo. So I really enjoyed that hobby box for $80. Definitely thought it was well worth it. But we're back to the blasters. Um, really just looking to fi finalize my insert sets. I would like to get a lot of the different 1952 cards. They're, I, I like those a lot. Maybe get some of the 70 years of Tops cards, uh, among others. But you know the deal. We're going to have 98 base or inserts or parallels here. Four, seven packs per box, 14 cards per pack. And then we get two of these exclusive 2021 Top 70th Anniversary patch cards. Usually a lot of people leave these for the end, but we're just gonna start off with them because they're really not that exciting. There's a Tom Seaver, rest in peace, just passed away last year, of course. Mets legend, nice card there. I'm just, this this is even off center. Like you can totally see the 70th uh, logo's not centered there. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of those cards. I don't think they're in the best condition. And I don't like the checklist. Maybe if they had some more rookies, they'd be cool too. There's Steve Carlton, so we got a couple legendary pitchers from the 70s and 80s. Very nice from the Phillies, but uh, just not a huge fan of those. Um, if they had more rookies, maybe I would like them. You can get numbered cards, you can get autographs. I've seen some fantastic pulls out of there, honestly, including a Derek Jeter autograph out of five, but overall, not a big fan of those. All right, let's get right into it. We've seen pretty much all the base cards. In fact, I have all but nine in my set, so we'll go through the base pretty fast, but let's get some cool inserts. Tommy Edmond, Joey Gallo, Liam Hendricks, Colin Moran, Kenta Maeda, Shane Bieber, Hands Up Mascot, Manny Machado. Here comes a 1986. We'll start our base pile right here. 1986, Justin Verlander. Hopefully, I know he had Tommy John. Hopefully, he can be back at some point. Here's our first 52, J.D. Martinez. Move it right there. We got Aquino, Jose Arquiti, and some rookie cards of Daniel Johnson and Don Varsho. Seen those guys a handful of times each. None of the nine I'm missing are rookie cards, so that's pretty neat. Just missing a bunch of base. We got a rainbow foil here. We got Omar Narvaez, Orlando Arcia, Evan White rookie card. Put that down right there. Jesse Winker, Juan Soto, the Detroit Tigers, Josh Harrison, Jose Arena. Our rainbow foil is Miles Mikolas, so unfortunately not a big name or a rookie card. Move those right there. Then we got Mike Trout. That's cool. I don't think I had that one yet for my 52s. Here's a Santiago Espinal rookie, Isak Paredes, Christian Pache, and Miggy Cabrera. So a lot of rookies there at the end of that pack. Although none of the major names. Cody B, JD Davis, flip it around here for Roman Quinn, Tommy Edmond, Joey Gallo. I feel like we just saw a lot of these guys. Blake Taylor is a rookie card. Put that up there. Walk off apart. Josh Bell is now a national. Sean Doolittle's a red. Nice Joe Adele. We already got this card, but still a pretty neat one. We'll make our rookie pile for inserts up there. Dolan Varsho, same exact. Sandy Exponaga, ooh, a lot of doubles. Isak Brady's Christian Pache. So two Pache's is pretty neat, but a lot of doubles right here. Hopefully these two blasters aren't the collation, you know, they're the exact same. All right, we got Liam Hendricks, Colin Moran, Kenta Maeda, Omar Narvaez, Orlando Garcia. Tampa Bay Rays, dab on them. A Juan Soto League Leaders card. Here's a nice Stony Marte with the Marlins. Haven't seen any cards of him with the Marlins yet. And Bryce is our 1952. Nice cards there. Mickey Cabrera, Adam Plucko, Gio, and Wilson Contreras. Hopefully we can get a gold at least. Obviously those are one in 27, so pretty tough to hit. Here's another Evan White rookie. You got Jesse Winker, Luis Garcia rookie. So we got two rookies here. Uh, Carter Kaboom, Evan Longoria, Brady Singer rookie card. Bring our rookies over here to the front. 
um, Alex Verdugo, Patrick Sandoval, Miggy Rojas, Josh Donaldson is our 1952s added to that pile. Mitch Moreland, Mike Trout, Shane Bieber, and Matthew Boyd. There we go. Let's get our rookies situated right there and keep it going. Oh, more of the same. Luis Garcia, Carter Keboom, Evan Longoria, Miles Nicholas, Ian Anderson, David Dahl, Ali Perez, Wade LeBlanc. Here is a 70 years of Topps card of Blake Snell, one of the newest Padres. What year is this from? Is this 2000 or 1990 something? 1999. Yeah, I never have, uh, I don't think I have any cards from the 1999 set, so I'm not too familiar with that design, but nice card. Just put that right there. I like those cards a lot. Oh, talking about them. There's more Blake Snell. Flip it around for Adam Plutko, Gio Gonzalez again, Wilson Contreras, and more Mitch Moreland, one of the newest A's. J.D. Martinez, Ahmed Rosario, Hector Neris, um, who was that? Harrison Bader, D. Strange Gordon, Slam Diego, Trevor Williams was a Cub, Hunter Renfro was a Red Sox, um, more Petr, oh, Griffin Canning, not Patrick Sandoval. Here's another Garrett Cole, very nice. Here's another Mike Trout, so we got two of the big fish. Shane Bieber, flip it around for Matthew Boyd, and, and that one with the home run leader from last year, Luke Voigt. Keep it going. We got Glaber. It looks like we have another 1986 coming up. Josh Donaldson, Avisel Garcia, Michael Franco still a free agent, the Catman, Tony Gonsolin. Got the Miami Marlins, Jake Arrieta, AJ Pollock. Nice, Polar Bear P. Alonzo. Looking forward to the Mets this year. There's Clayton Kershaw. Mets have a lot of exciting players. Josh Reddick, Bruce Dargrado, Andres Jimenez, and Nick Madrigal. So some more or less light-hitting middle infielders are our two rookies there. All right, let's keep it going. Miles Nicholas with our rainbow foil. J.D. Martinez, Ahmed Rosario, Hector Neris, a lot of the same. The Brewers, Shun Yamaguchi is now a giant. Jake Arrieta, Chris Archer. Here's a Willie Mays. That's a 1987. More of these 70 years at top. Let's put him with Blake there. There's Cody B. Hopefully we can uh, get some chromes. Luke Boyd again, Josh Reddick again, Bruce Dar again, and Andres again. So it's not the exact same packs, but just so much of the same guys. All right, let's keep it going here. Um, Harrison Bader, D. Strange Gordon, Glaber, flip around for Josh Donaldson, Avisael Garcia, the New York Yankees, Ben Benintendi, John Gray, nice home run challenge card. Chris Bryant, my first one of those today. Haven't got them yet. Oh, there's our first duplicate on the 1952 part. J.D. Martinez, so we're gonna follow it up with there's that Madrigalian, James Capriano, nice Alec Bohm rookie card. Best rookie card we've probably seen so far, though we saw a handful of Pachés and Gavin Lux. Happy with the Bohm. Bohm, not bomb, I'm a Phillies fan, so you hear it a lot, but it is Alec Bohm. I know a lot of the top breakers say bomb. Luis Patino rookie card, bring that over here. Brennan Jury, low key signing, but some of the Mets this year could be an interesting one. Mauricio Dubon, Ketel Marte, Javi Baez. Here's some more rookie cards. We got Dane Dunning, uh, Mitch White. There we go. Trent Grisham. Nice. We got a gold. So Luke Weaver out of 2021. Very nice. 1929 out of 2021. Put that right there. Cool. Chris Bryant is our 1952. And here's some more Capriano. There's another Boom, Gavin Lux, and Iglesias. All right. So we got a gold. So that's pretty neat. Um, got a home and challenge card, got a room of foil. Unfortunately, none are really the right names. Luke Weaver's been around for a few years now. Former Cardinal, traded for Paul Goldschmidt a couple years ago. There's Gene Segura. There's Colin Wong, who's now a brewer. Danny Santana, Miggy Andujar, Eduardo Rodriguez, Dansby, uh, Justice Sheffield, Calvin Biggio. There's a nice Albert Pujols. This might be another 1990s level design. Yeah, 1996. Very neat there. Put that there. There's the Judge again. I got that one card in chrome. We got David Bodie, John Lester, Sterling Marte, and a playful bout of juniors. I actually needed it. That was one of the nine cards I needed. So we got a couple designs there from those seven years of tops I'm unfamiliar with. The Albert Pujols from 96 and the Blake Snell from 99. A lot of that's because my, my dad obviously collected cards when he was a kid, and so I've looked at many of his cards in the past, but he stopped uh, when I was growing up from 1995 to 2001. So I really have no idea what those designs look like, honestly. I really have never looked them a lot. Obviously, Miggy's in 2000, and was it Albert Pujols and Ichiro 2001? Or might have mixed that up somehow, so I kind of know what those ones look like, but I just, I don't even know anything about the 1995, the 99 designs. Got Michael Franco, Tony Gonson, there's Patino. 
Um, Brandon Drury, Mauricio Dubon, Chad Trump, rookie card, uh, elbows only. Um, who is that? Kevin Gosman. There's a nice Clayton Kershaw and Mike Trout. We've seen both those cards, I believe, already. Rysel Iglesias, David Bodie, John Lester, and Sterling Marte as a Marlin. All right, last pack of this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Really appreciate those who follow along. I know we don't have a lot of new product on the channel. Nothing for baseball comes out. I know Donruss is the third, but I'm not a huge fan of Donruss until, oh, we have a Chrome Refractor Field. Cool. Nothing really comes out until Heritage in mid-March. So probably a lot of Series 1, unless I can find some stuff to fill it up. That'd be pretty neat. We have Cattell Marte, Javi Baez. There's Gene again. Here's more doubles. Colton Wong. Uh, who is that? Was that Max? It was the Dodgers team card, Garrett Richards, Jacob DeGrom. Nice Freddie Freeman's our chrome. And there's a Blake Snell. Oops, put down the wrong pile. So I really like getting a chrome there. Another playful battle juniors. There's Brandon Workman, Bobby Dahlbeck, rookie card, and Danny Duffy. So that will do it all for here. We did get one numbered card, this nice gold, a Luke Weaver out of 2021. So Christian Javier was my only gold before that. We only got one rookie card in the 52 is Joe Adele. Unfortunately, I already had that. Chris Bryant, home run challenge card, some nice 86s, some nice 52s. Miles Miklas was a rainbow foil. Carlton and Seaver were our 70 years. And then a bunch of rookie cards. And then we got two Alec Bohm. There's obviously a lot of doubles here. We got two Alec Bohms. We got two of Christian Pache. Um, I'm not sure if we got any other huge names. Nick Madrigal is a good name, but yeah, as you can see, just a ton of doubles, unfortunately, but at least we got some Alec Bones for my collection since I'm a Phillies fan. So that'll do it for now. Like I said, I'll have at least two more blasters of this, and that honestly might be it for my Series 1 journey. I like it a lot. I think it's a good set, but I've just opened so much, and I have so much base as long as I can get these. I know actually a few of these cards here. These two work when the Playful Battle Juniors are doing needed, so as long as I can finish out my set uh, with these next two blasters or if I finish it off here, we'll be all good. But still, I really thank you for watching. And obviously, I have Montgomery Club and a lot of things. So we're going to have some really exciting products coming in 2021. And I'll do my best to find more football and basketball. And maybe it's some diverse with some soccer or some other stuff. Make sure you hit that like and that red subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me as I really just produce this for my own enjoyment and to bring joy to others. So I appreciate it a lot. Also, follow that Instagram down in the description box below. Thank you, and I look forward to the next time.